All right. Now here is one of the great uh, highlights of this report. A resource management pass on the Aegis Hammerhead also began. This includes adding relays and modifications to the existing component base to make them all functional. This is only the first half of the uh, greatness of this report that I mentioned, but it gives us enough to go off of. So resource management's a huge deal. That's what's gonna bring us um, the ability to stop fires, the ability to vent rooms, the ability to power our ships, to cut off parts of our ships in terms of power, um, life support, all that kind of stuff is linked to power management. The heat system that keeps our VTOL engines being VTOL engines, that's all power management. And they talk about the Aegis Hammerhead here, adding relays and modifications. And you can see earlier on in our videos, this is what the thumbnail is about. Um, they had this engineering segment figured out just to test it. So you can see they have relays, they've got batteries, power plants, uh, turrets, all the things that draw and create energy as well as a sub network display over on the left side that sort of highlights them. And um, you can see that as they click off certain relays in certain places, it disconnects entire sections of the ship in terms of power. Now, going one step further, we can also see that in addition to the engineering side of this, they've also been working on the gameplay side of this. So here we have an alarm system with a power source that is here uh, and a bunch of alarm modules with batteries in them. The player can run over to the module or I'm sorry, that's the battery. They have their own power blades. The, the player can run over to the battery, turn off the power, right? And then take a power blade and slip it back into one of the alarms and see that it still works. So in the gameplay side of it, they've also started to figure out a functioning power system. So this resource management is something they've been working on for a long, long time. And it's going to allow us a lot more control over our ships, the bases we go to, the outposts we use, the space stations we discover. And the hammerhead seems to be one of the kind of test beds for that functionality. But this is really, really good that we're hearing them working on it because while they have been working on it for a while, they haven't really talked about it. All right, features gameplay. The features team continued to develop life support and engineering gameplay. This is an exciting one. This included work on the Miskull A, as it's the first ship with interactable relay points that control resource distribution. So here's the other half of the whole hammerhead resource management stuff I was talking about earlier. So if we go back and we look at the uh, resource management system in the hammerhead, this had me thinking that the hammerhead was going to be the first ship to use these features because they had a working interface and they talk about it a little bit every time they talk about resource management. But as we read here on the MISC Hull A, the power plant and the fuel tanks now power the system using the new tech and UI work was extended to allow players to control the temperature per room. So this little thing here gives us the relationship between a relay, a battery, a power plant, a fuel tank, a, uh, a welcome sign, I don't know what that is, a turret, and a lithium ion? <laughs> I don't know. But the important part's up here, the fuel tank, the power plant, and the battery. If your power plant's off, then your battery's gotta kick in. If your fuel tank's empty and your power plant can't work, then your battery has to work. And what they're saying is they've got this relationship now working on the MISC Hull A, as you can see, the power plant is now charging the battery because the fuel tank is turned off or something along those lines. I don't know. I'm too dumb to know. But you can see that they've they've worked on this on the engineering side and they're now confirming to us that this is working on the MISC Hull A, probably internally, probably in nowhere near ready for us to, to be doing it in game. But again, this is one of those background things that is a massive deal. This is a huge deal for power management resource management to finally be seeing some tangible uh, progress that really doesn't get talked about all that much. I mean, it's it's not much. It's just a couple of sentences here. Um, but the fact that we're looking at the possibility of the let me let me pull up this picture. Actually, there's a picture that shows what the interface, what the early interface looks like for them. And you can see they've got engineering on here. They've got life support. They've got gravity, the ability to control temperature, pressure, vent the room. Um, what is your composition? How is your life support functioning? All of this is linked to power management. In fact, 
our new VTOL system, um, which I discussed in the recent exclusive video is linked to the heat system, which is also linked to this power management system. So this is like huge, it's got hands all over the game. It's going to be affecting outposts, ships, space stations, like I was saying, this is a big one. And they finally got some form of it working on one of the ships in game. So over the next probably six to eight months, we'll hear more and more about the developments of this, but it's good to keep an eye on. Um, it might just be a couple sentences here in this monthly report, but whatever patch this comes in in, it will probably be one of the standout features. I'm excited for this one and we'll keep covering it every time it comes up on the monthly report. We'll, we'll look into it a little bit deeper.